So, if you were here a couple of weeks ago, you will remember, I'm sure, the most amazing charity shop discovery I've ever made, which is this teeny tiny little baby name book written a hundred years ago by somebody called Helena Swan. It is all held together with sellotape and the names are absolutely tiny. It is such a find. I did part one of this video a couple of weeks ago sharing with you all the names just as I read them out and got excited about them as a big name consultant finding new names. Some of them <laughs> not so good. There's a reason they're out of style but you will find the most gorgeous names and if you're a name nerd or you're looking for a baby name join in part two of the video. You will love it. I did the end of the book and found some gems. I just literally were nearly about to go Ivy. I've never heard that name. It just looks so different in this little book. Javot. Javot? Javot? That's nice. It means white stream. Jenkin. I really like Jenkin. I think that is lovely. A Welsh variant of John. I just think so cool. Jocosa. Jocosa. J-O-C-O-S-A. Jocosa. An English name from the Latin word Jocosa. Sportive. Later corrupted into Joyce. Corrupted. Jocelyn. Lovely name. Jocelyn should come back, shouldn't it, soon? It says even here, even back in 1900, an English variant of Jocelyn's almost obsolete, but that she's spelling that one J-O-S-S-E-L-Y-N, which I do actually really like, and I'm not often a fan of changing around the spelling, but because it's almost obsolete, Jocelyn, then you get the nickname Joss. Oh, she's got it for masculine as well, so I think it's very gender neutral. But what do you think, Jocelyn? Let's see if there's any that we've never heard of, because J is a very popular name. Junius. Junius, a variation of Juno. That's nice. Carolee. <laughs> We're on K now. Katinka. That is such a cool name. A German and Russian contraction of Catherine. Katinka. She knows a lot about all of these. Katel. Katel. Katty and Katel. German form of Catherine. Kazaya, Kazaya, K-E-Z-I-A-H, meaning Cassia, one of the three beautiful daughters of Job. Kazaya, that's nice, isn't it? Kitto, I love the name Kitto. Conrad, I actually like Conrad with the K, that looks really nice, it means able speech. I like Conrad, doesn't come out enough. Okay, but on to L. Look, Lambert, that's lovely, meaning country's brightness. Was there a cigarette brand called Lambert's ages ago? Larkin, so nice. English contraction of Lawrence, Larkin. Leoline, Leoline, that's nice. Masculine, meaning lion-like. So it's uh, from Llewellyn. Do you know that name, Llewellyn? Leofric, Leofric, Leo Leofric, Leopoldo. <laughs> <laughs> Adding the extra O in the end. Lilius. Lilius. I actually don't think I've heard it with the S on the end. Lilius. That's really nice, isn't it? It's like Lillian. Longer form for Lily, of course. Lilius. A very popular Scottish form of Lillian. Is it still really popular in Scotland? Lolot. Lolot. She says it's a French contraction of Charlotte. Lolot. That's quite pretty. It's quite a lolot to say. It's love day. That is my niece's middle name. A name almost confined to Cornwall. Lowther. That's nice, isn't it? It says it's an English contraction of Lothario. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be called Lothario, would you? But Lowther's quite nice. Lubin, meaning beloved friend. It's the name of one of King Harold's brothers. She's got Macbeth in here. She's going to have a lot of these muck names, I wonder, because she's up in um, Edinburgh. Maddox. That's so nice, isn't it? M-A-D-O-C. Maddox, rather than Maddox, which we hear quite often, but just Maddox, meaning beneficent which is uh, to be kind isn't here that's a lovely one madge <laughs> malkin an english variation of mary malkin i actually do like the name kin together at the end there i always quite like it malvina or malvine which means handmaid that's quite good to know archeline is marcheline is such a good name isn't it marmaduke <laughs> <laughs> That's just become such a dog's name, Marmaduke, but I actually really like it. And Merowin. Merowin. That's so lovely. Anglo-Saxon meaning famed friend. Mildgith. That's quite hard to say. Mildgith. I have to sort of do something with my cheek. Let me turn to it with just a straight normal face. Mildgith. Mildgith. Oh, very hard to say. It means mild gift. You're mildly a gift to me, Mildgith. <laughs> That's why we called you Mildgith. 
Miliora, M-I-L-I-O-R-A. So the name Millie is really popular and Orla, really popular. Um, Miliora, Miliora meaning better, better. Mungo, <laughs> I like that, that's really cool. Mungo, it means lovable. That is so good. If you're a brave namer, you really could you go with Mungo. This seems to have been originally not a name, says Helena, but a sobriquet. Which I don't know what that means. A sobriquet. S-O-B-R-I-Q-U-E-T. It is a sobriquet given to St. Kentiger and the patron saint of Glasgow, which is at the present day often called St. Mungo. Okay, so is Glasgow called St. Mungo a sobriquet? That, do you think that must be like a nickname or something? Oh, I'm going to have to Google that. I should have been using that for all these years. I could have been giving you lots of sob requests. Matilla. Matilla. M-Y-R-T-I-L-L-A. So, so similar to Matilda. Matilla. 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 Yeah. Oh. Nona, meaning the ninth girl. The ninth child. No wonder that's gone out of fashion. Numps. <laughs> just numps hebrew meaning staff of peace an english contraction of humphrey numps <laughs> there were some great o ones ottokar ottokar that's cool oh is that it for o she hasn't done very many o names o-t-t-o-k-a-r ottokar um which i don't dislike p palafox palafox p-a-l-a-f-o-x palafox is an english derivative of paul so if we were naming somebody after Paul, you can go, well, we've called them Palafox. Um, Pancras, Ooh, look at this name, Parthenope, Parthenope, P-A-R-T-H-E-N-O-P-E, -E, and it means the city of the Virgin. Where's this place? It's not Swindon. <laughs> Peevelin, Peevelin. <laughs> Peevelin, don't know why. Peggy, I like that. We're back on track now. Peregrine, I love the name Peregrine. I mean, look, it is proper vintage. You can definitely go with it. It means wanderer, great meaning. A name sometimes given in honour of St Peregrinus or Pellegrino, an Irish prince who dwelt as a hermit on the Apennines and sometimes to commemorate a birth that has been taking place when the parents have been wandering in a foreign land. Yes, naming your baby after your passions and your interests. If you're a traveller, Peregrine is the name for you. You've heard it here. This is your ping from the universe, from Helen Swan, to name your baby Peregrine. On to the R names. She's got a lot of R names. Maybe she just got bored when she was doing O and she just sort of gave up a little bit halfway through. Ralph Randall Randolph Rowell, which means wolf, I'm pretty sure. She just says it's a French form of Rodolph. <laughs> I get that word out. Rodolph, because she's written Rodolph, not Rudolph, like the red-nosed reindeer who we all know and love. Redwald, that's nice, isn't it? It means council power. I don't think, not council as in the council. Council as in to help somebody. Council power, that's nice, I love that. Redwald. Renfred, R-E-N-F-R-E-D, Renfred. That's nice, isn't it? If you like the name Ren, but I'm worried it's not got the word Fred in there as well. <laughs> Where that it's too short, Renfred. I love it. I think that's really, really cool. It means judgment of peace, an English name of a very early date. And if Helena is saying that, that must be so old. Renfred. Rollo. See, Henrik's granddad was called Rollo. R O L L O. My husband's granddad. Why on earth? We didn't use it so much. It's so cool. It means wolf of fame. Rollo. It's so cool, isn't it? Romulus. Ronwin. Ronwin, that's nice because I do really like Bronwyn. So Ronwyn's nice. Here's all the rose names. Rose Clear, not heard that one. She's got good names. I think she's filtered them. Salome, S A L O M E, meaning peaceable. That's lovely. Samson, Seabert, S E A B E R T, Seabert. Sophonisba, Sophonisba, an English monastery founded on Sophia. Sophonisba. She's got Suki in here which she says is an English nickname for Susanna, which I'd never thought about that, but yeah, it's lovely, isn't it, Suki? And I love the name Suki, and if you're honouring a Sue, great idea. Why have I not put that two and two together? Tabitha, we're on to T. I actually always loved the name Tabitha. I was talking just to my friend just the other day about how we both liked the name Tabitha. Tig, she has in here. 
Tudor, so she's got it spelled a couple of ways, Tudor as in T-O-D-O-R, but she's also got it spelled T-E-W-D-U-R, Tudor. I really like the name Tudor. I've mentioned it a few times and it's not got any pickup. I don't think anyone else is coming along with me, but I used to work with somebody called Tudor and I just always liked his name so much. Tibble, that's cute, isn't it? T-I-B-A-L, Tibble. Um, that's really cute. It means the English contraction of Theobald. So if you like Theodore, or you can have Theobald, it's quite nice to also have a tib Tibble or Tibby. She's got Tracy in here as a male and female name. So much more now is it a female name. Tosdig. How do you say that? Masculine Tosdig. T-O-S-T-I-G. She says, the son of the great Earl Godwin who plotted against his brother Harold was indirectly the cause of the downfall of his house. We're nearly done, Helena, with your lovely, lovely book. For you, you name, she doesn't have too many. She's got Ulrika, Ulrich, all the ones that we love as well. She has V names. Venora. That's lovely. Did we talk about that earlier on, meaning white wave? <laughs> and I said it was not a variation. So she's got that in here. Virgil. Not ready to bring that one back yet, are we quite? In W, she's got Wonders. And I actually think that's really lovely. W-A-N-D-E-R-S, Wonders. Wayland. I know a lot of you like the name Waylon. Wayland with the L-A-N-D ending is really nice. And then Winifred. Wilmot. Don't hear that anymore, do you? Wilmot. Wilmot. Yvaine, which is really lovely. Zenobia. Let's end on that one because it's lovely. Zenobia, father's ornament. What a beautiful little book. I hope you've enjoyed going through that with me. So did you find a favourite in this very, very old little baby name book? I tell you, this book has brought me some luck. It's a lucky charm. If you can guess what it is, there's something big coming from me soon. Um, since Helen the Swan came into my life, uh, I will see you on my next baby name video. Last week we did Eclectic Grandpa. I think next week we are doing Coastal Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about the vintage names this month. Thank you so, so much for watching. Do hit subscribe if you're naming a baby. I would love to have you here as part of our community. And I'll chat to you below in the comments. Bye, guys. <laughs>